So the Nintendo Switch in its almost eight year existence is pretty much impossible to modify unless you got one before mid 2018, know how to time travel backwards, or just want to accelerate the aging process by trying to micro solder a mod chip. Um, but today we're gonna be looking at a glimpse of hope among the chaos of Switch modding. Nintendo, don't come to my house. No, please. And you could do this on any Switch, no matter if it's modded or not. So if you're not aware, the Nintendo Switch has a built-in web browser. But Jace, no, no, it does not. Yeah. It does, but you can't just simply open it. No, that would be too easy and convenient, and you might expose little children to the dangers of the internet. Nintendo wouldn't want that now, would they? Never mind the DS, DSi, 3DS, Wii, and Wii U all had internet browsers, and literally every child I've seen in public has an iPad strapped to their eye sockets. We all know it's just to prevent exploits. Anyway, how is this even possible? Browse DNS. It's a public DNS server that enables devices with hidden or restricted built-in web browsers to browse the open internet. All right, I read I knew about this eight years ago. Cool. Comment that to boost engagement. Plus, I'm taking this a step further than just another one of the 6,783 tutorials out there for this. I want to see if this can game. What if we could get emulators running, or more reasonably walking, in the extremely limited Nintendo Switch web browser? Surely then Nintendo would show up to my house for a nice family dinner to award my efforts. So first, we have to set up the DNS server in the Switch settings. So you go to internet, internet settings, change settings, go all the way down to DNS settings, change this to manual, and then you're going to open up the primary DNS, go to the Browse DNS website, and find the IP address that you're supposed to enter. I'm in America, so I'm putting the American one to connect to the American servers so I get the full American speed, which is 455.5.112.11. Okay, and that's it. Then you press save, click OK, boom. We just have to test the connection, so I'm going to press connect to this network. Yeah, this can take a little bit, so maybe drink an entire gallon of water while you're waiting. Oh, it says registration is required to use this network. That's a good thing. So you're gonna press next on that, and boom, internet browser. So there's a few things you can do in here. You can browse the browse DNS forums, which I'm not going to do. We wanna go to the Switch Brew dashboard. This is not just another, oh, look, it exists, and you can do stuff in here. Oh my God. We are gonna look at some of the things that Switch Brew DNS includes, but we're... Something just fell off my desk. But we're also gonna try to force it to emulate things against Nintendo's will. First, we're just gonna look at Google. Wow, it's like using Google on a Nintendo DSi. Nothing works. Uh, you can't even watch videos in here. See? This feature is not available. This is not what this is here for. We all know what this is here for. Gaming. That's right, gaming. In order to get there, we go to useful links on the side. Oh yeah, did I mention that this inbuilt browser has a time limit? You only get 20 minutes to do what you wanna do, and then it will just close. So you better hope that you can play a whole game in 20 minutes. Oh, this could have been the best game of Tetris ever. But can you play real Tetris? Well, we'll find that out right after I answer this question. What are those? Well, it's my solution to Joy-Con drift. Nixie Gaming has reached out to me and sent me their new Hyperion 2 wireless controllers. And the thing that piqued my interest were the Hall Effect joysticks, which if you don't know, cannot drift due to using electromagnets instead of physical potentiometers. Because of this, they are also incredibly smooth. One of the other cool features are the mechanical buttons. These are nice and clicky, like the micro switches in your mouse. And I can say already, these feel absolutely amazing. And I'm not just saying that because they sent them to me for free. Also, if you don't like RGB, you can just set them to white or turn them off. They've also got buttons on the back if you're into that, and removable magnetic covers. If you want to get these, check out the link in the description and get 10% off. Now back to gaming. I have done an entire day's worth of research, and I have like 10 links I'm going to try to input into here. And we're going to try to see if we can emulate an NES and a Game Boy Advance. And you may be thinking, oh, well, you can just do that in the Nintendo Online subscription. Did you know it's only $49.99 a year? <laughs> Shut up. Yes, you can do that. But that's like completely missing the point of this. So, there are some things to keep in mind. We have to go with websites that already include ROMs. So it's a bit of a gray area. I am not endorsing any of these sites, but I also don't care. In order to play these games, you should probably, you know, like own the game first. That's just what everyone would say, so I'm saying it too. So the first thing anyone would probably want to try is archive.org. And it doesn't load. So the only way to actually get to archive.org on here is to just Google the game with archive.org in the search terms. We're going to try to play Super Mario. All right, Nintendo, don't airstrike my house for doing this. It's just for educational and demonstration purposes. So this is already a very promising result. The preview is lagging. Can it actually launch the game? No.
It cannot. Well, what do you know? Archive.org doesn't work. That's not a great sign. So next, you'd probably want to try your favorite emulator site, because some of those have built-in players. So for example, Redacted. And can I play Mario on here? You guessed it. No. It just sits here on this and does nothing. So this one doesn't work either. But what does? What works? Please tell me what works. Well, not this one either. Well, that's okay. We have more websites to try. What about this one? This one has built-in ROMs. What about Super Mario Brothers 1? Oh, look at that. We've got an image. Uh, isn't he supposed to be like jumping around right now? <gasps> I saw the coin update. I saw the coin change color. <gasps> it's, ch oh, it's, oh, it's changing colors. Holy hell, the coin is animating. We have hit a new low for emulation. Tetris. Did you know that the Nintendo Switch web browser does not have just-in-time compilation or JIT? Um, that's gonna be a bit of a problem, considering our goal is to run games in the browser. Have you seen how the eShop runs? Pretty sure that uses this. So that's really great. Let's see if we can get some controls working in here. We're gonna play goddamn Tetris. That's so entertaining and riveting, I am going to explode spontaneously. Oh! It, it's working! And now I will speed up the footage to match actual Tetris speed. Push start. God damn it. I didn't map start. Start can be up, because we don't really need up in this game. What the hell? What, I got a vertical Tetris? You guys probably think I'm insane. I, I've never played Tetris 2. Oh, I'm doing a Tetris! Oh my god! Now let's try something stupid. You ever wanted to play new Super Mario Brothers on the Switch? Oh well, it's already on the Switch in like seven different forms. Too bad. Mom, can we please get new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Switch, please? No, you have new Super Mario Brothers at home, Jason. New Super Mario Brothers at home. Honestly, this is quite the accomplishment, even though it's running at like two frames per second. Can I beat the whole level? I don't know if there is a whole level. This might be the entire game, but it's still pretty cool. Big props to this guy, link on the screen. I don't even know how the hell you got this running as well as it is, considering NES emulators run worse. Uh, yeah, there goes Mario. Goodbye, Mario. Bye-bye, Luigi. Oh no, the screen will be closed. Well, that's our reward for beating new Super Mario Brothers running in the Nintendo Switch browser. So I also tried other websites like WebNES, and they all just kind of had the same result as WebNES, being very slow. Uh, but I'll put those in the description for you to try as well. Uh, so, so far, the laggy Tetris website has been the best option, because you can map controls, select from a bunch of games, it also kind of just was the fastest out of all of them. If you can somehow speed up time, then this is going to be your best friend. If you haven't had enough of a riveting experience, I have one more website for you. Switch GBA Emulator, an experimental browser-based Nintendo Switch GBA emulator. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to use Docker, and this runs from Docker. So I'm gonna figure out how to use Docker really quick and uh, try to run this. Okay, so I've spent like two hours on this. For some reason, I can't get it to build in Docker. It just won't do it. It, it just gets stuck at line 23. What? So then I was like, hmm, I'm probably insane. Can I do the welcome to Docker stuff just to make sure I'm building it correctly? And it worked. It built the welcome to Docker stuff. So I think there's just something wrong with the Switch GBA emulator. Plus on the GitHub page, it says Docker build invalid. I don't know how to fix this, it's Bjorn, but in theory, it is technically possible. It's just gonna take someone better at Docker than I am to actually get it working. But just as I was about to give up, I had an insane idea. Flash games? So I slowly loaded cool math games. And oh my god, what have they done to this site? I have not been on here in like 10 years. Why are there video ads now when you try to play a game? Okay, so like three games didn't work. And then I figured I would try Bloxors. And it's working? What? I cannot believe this is actually working. What? What? Why is this one of the smoothest things I've tried today? Wow, it just works. Yeah, got it in the hole. So we're good now, right? No more trying to game in the Nintendo Switch browser? Yeah, I think I'm good.
Is it possible to game in the Nintendo Switch hidden web browser? Kind of, if you want to play on the things that are built into Switch Brew DNS or play NES games at like one frame per Thursday afternoon. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Check out my music and there's gonna be a special version of an old song I made at the end of the video with the Super Mario 64 sound font. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you very much to my members who are going to scroll at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.